Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I am so glad to have you guys here today. This is a pretty random video. It's a declutter video, obviously. It's just a really random declutter. I am going to be decluttering all of this. And I have been, as I use my makeup, I find things that I don't want or don't need, or you know, I get things in mystery boxes or whatever that are the wrong shade, and or things are bad. I mean, look at this concealer. I mean, I find things that are bad and I need to throw away. And so I put them in this bin right here. And this bin was completely full. <laughs> and eventually the bin got so full <laughs> that I was like, I just need to do a video about all this random stuff that I'm trying to get rid of. Sometimes I try when I'm doing an eyeshadow video, I'll look through the bin and see if I have any eyeshadows. And then I put that in the eyeshadow declutter video. Or if I, I'm doing a lipstick declutter, I find any lipsticks that I'm going, that are in this bin, then I put it in the lipstick declutter video. But it just was getting overwhelming. And I had too much in here that I was like, let's do this. Let's just do a random declutter. So I don't know how this will do on my channel, but I need to get this stuff out of my life. I figure we could just go through and I could tell you why I'm getting rid of all this stuff. Cool? If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do because I do a lot of declutters and declutters are fun. Let's talk about these palettes, okay? Let's do those first because they're the big ones. I have been bringing in quite a few palettes this year because last year, 2023, I was on a makeup no buy. So this year I've been buying some makeup. I did a eyeshadow declutter, but I just felt like I brought some new palettes in and I probably should take some palettes out of my collection if I'm bringing some new ones in because I always feel like I have so many palettes that I can't use them all that I get stressed about it that I was like, okay, you know what? Let's not wait till an eyeshadow palette declutter. Let's just declutter 10 now. So that is what these are. There's 10 palettes here, except for there's actually only nine. <laughs> because I already gave one of them away. I had a friend of mine whose daughter had seen my the eyeshadow palette decluttered. She's like, that palette. It was the Ace Bute, like jungle palette or something like that. It was a green one. And I already knew that she wanted it. And so I just gave it to her because I was like, hey, you wanted this palette and I was going to declutter it, but didn't. Here you go. So I did declutter not 10. That one's just already out of my out of my stash. Also with this stuff, I am going to, as I say with all of my declutters, I am going to be giving this stuff to friends and family. Stuff that is really disgusting is going to be thrown in the trash. Here we have from Huda Beauty. This is the new nude palette. And I bought this. I even still have like the insert. I bought this for half off from Sephora. And I, I was swindled because it was, you know, on sale. And I really have only swatched it. I don't even think I used it because it has these two pressed glitters. I hate pressed glitter. So I've been holding on to it being like, oh, come on. It's a Huda Beauty palette. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Why? Why? When It's not really my jam. It's, it's very, I feel like it's really light except for these like, it's just not really my jam. It's not really a good color story for, color story for me. So we're going to declutter it. Then we have this one by Gourmand Girls, which Gourmand Girls is a really favorite indie brand of mine. I really like them, but I feel like this is one of their earlier palettes because the formula is not as good as some of their newer ones. So it's that time of year by Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. And they're actually, it's a collaboration with um, Debutant Adventures of Zia. Zania, the Brutally Honest Beauty. That's kind of cute. This palette I really want to use during like Christmas and winter time. But then I use it and then I'm like, this really isn't as good as their formula is right now. So I'm going to pass it along or sell it on a Poshmark and just, I don't need, I don't need something in my collection that just because I like the brand when really this palette is not as good as other palettes. Okay, more. So this is probably a hot take and if you disagree with me, that's nice. Um, but I'm allowed to do with what I want with my collection. So this is from Glamlight and I do love Glamlight, but this is, they collaborated with Michaela and I got this palette cause I was, I was trying to tell myself to like green and it does have some colors that I like, but okay. This color story really is not my favorite. 
greens are hard for me to wear on my eyes. Blues are hard for me to wear on my eyes. So it's really only like one, two and a half rows that are really, that I actually like in here. And also my hot take is that I don't really like Michaela. She seems like she lies a lot. So I really don't really want to support that. So I just don't really want to talk about this palette on my channel and I don't really love the color story very much. So why am I keeping it? Then I have this, I have, uh, I got rid of a couple of Ace Boutes because there I have this one and then I have this one and then I had, I think it was Tropical Vibes. Was that it? I could look it up, but I don't feel like it. So this is Ace Boutte. It's the quiz, quintessential palette. I got this one really cheap on um, Ice Cream Cosmetics was selling this one for really cheap. And so I've never even used it and I could use it, but I'm like, you know what? It's an Ace Boutte's like old formula that's not as good as their new formula. And it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty, but uh, I have so many palettes that this is really just one of the many. And I, I could be using the ones that I really, really love. And I could put this into somebody else's hands that would love it more than I could appreciate it. So that's it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't, I am not able to love it like I should love it. Same with this one, Ace Beauté Serenity palette. I got this from a FabFitFun. I think I used it once and it's pretty. I like neutral palettes, but I don't love neutral palettes. And this one really is not anything to write home of. It, it's nothing special. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's nothing like, oh my gosh, this is the best palette in the world. And I have a lot of palettes that are like that, that are like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I love this palette. I will, you can't tear it out of my do cold dead fingers like that. And why am I keeping the ones that I'm like holding? I, I don't know. I'm holding on to ones that I don't even really like that much. And that's silly because I have so many palettes. I need to just keep the ones I really like. Okay, then we have, this is, that's what all of these are. <laughs> I don't even really have to explain. Um, this is from Lunar Beauty. It's the Eternal Eclipse. I have really enjoyed the brand Lunar Beauty. I love the moon. I, it's, it's always in my backgrounds. I have a picture of the moon and the moon is just a really peaceful thing in my life. I just like the brand, but this, this color story, I got this in a mystery box from Lunar Beauty and I don't love this color story. I don't love cool tones. So we've got like some cool tones up here, a little bit of warm tones. We've got those blue that I have a hard time with. So it's just, it's a hard color story for me to work with. And I've been holding on to it because I'm like, oh, it's Lunar Beauty. I really like Lunar Beauty. Well, I don't really like this color story. So why am I holding on to something that I don't really like just because I like the brand? That's okay. Bianca, that's okay. You can, you can have other things from that brand. Okay. Then Aether Beauty. I love this brand. This brand is out of business, <laughs> but it is such a sustainable brand. But the colors in these, they're very light. They're very faint. They're, they're not pigment packing colors. And this palette actually reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette, I think. I don't have that one, but maybe it's just the pop of coral there that is making me think that. Cause I think that one is a little bit cooler. There are some warm tones in it, but anyways, <sighs> I just don't love how lightly pigmented this one is. And if I'm going to wear eyeshadow, I don't want to have to spend forever building it up. So I would like to keep this palette, but I'm trying to just keep the best of the best or, and you know, the ones that I love the most and other people could appreciate these, these are still beautiful palettes. Let me tell you, all of these ones I'm, I'm getting rid of are still beautiful palettes. I just, I have so much and I need to have them in other people's hands. This palette, I, this is the Tri Palette by Juvia's Place. I actually already decluttered this palette. Then somebody in my comment section was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're decluttering that palette. I've been waiting forever to get that palette. And I was like, cause it's like, you can't buy it anymore. And I felt really terrible that I was decluttering it when somebody else, like, apparently this is a most, a very wanted palette. And so I was like, okay, I'll keep it and see if I can love it. I, I don't like green. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to like green eyeshadow more, but it is a struggle for me. It really is. It's something that I'm working on and I work on it. Like all of March, I wore green eyeshadow and <laughs> it, I don't know. I, I feel like it made me dislike green eyeshadow more than like it because I got so sick of wearing green eyeshadow. Anyways, it's just not something I love. My sister gave me this palette because she was She-Hulk for Halloween. And so she bought this palette. And so I didn't, I 
can pass this along. Then I have the Gemini 2 palette. Apparently this palette is also, okay, how many of these palettes are green? And am I getting, I'm just getting rid of green palettes. Yeah, you know what, it's because I wore too much green in March. <laughs> I'm just so sick of green. Anyways, the Gemini 2 palette by Melt Cosmetics. I got this in, I think, a mystery box from Melt. And half of this palette is very me. This is some really beautiful maroon tones and, and, and light pink tones. And then we have only three greens. But I don't like those greens. Especially this color, this grungy green is just, this is the exact, is, is like my eye color. Um, I, my eye color isn't that dark, but still. And so it doesn't... I have a confession. This is really silly. But when I wear green eyeshadow, I feel like it makes me look like a lizard, which is, I know, really ridiculous, but I feel like the, my green eyes with the green eyeshadow, anyway, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just ridiculous. But I don't like three shadows, so I like these. But I like there to be a shimmery inner corner shade, and there isn't. And yes, I can use a highlighter, but like, if the palette isn't everything that I want, why am I holding on to it? Somebody else would love this palette like I'm not loving it. Yay! That was it. That's nine palettes. Let's look at some foundations. We have foundations. Okay. I did an eyeshadow, uh, uh, a foundation declutter not even that long ago. Maybe it was a year ago, so kind of long ago, but I got rid of a lot of foundations and now I have more to get rid of. So should I probably, I feel like I'm going to be doing a foundation declutter soon so should I wait for that for these probably but you know what there's probably more foundations I need to get rid of so anyways this one from Kosas it's old and it was already kind of this formula that was very a very very clean formula that is very oily and so since I've had it for a long time it has separated pretty badly it's it's just not in top shape anymore and they don't even sell this anymore I really really liked it when I had it, or I do have it, but when I had it at the beginning, because I like a, a thin, a, a, a very light foundation, and that's what it was, but it's it's old. It's seen better days. Um, this Beauty Blender one, old. It's seen better days. Also, it's it's not the right color. It seems not, like it's not too light from here, but it is. It's far too light for me. It's 140N, and I should have gotten like 180 or something. I don't know. It, it's like a fair color, and I'm I'm light, if not light medium. And this one was just too fair. And I bought it kind of at the beginning of my channel, so I didn't know really what my <laughs> what what my skin undertone and my skin tone and blah blah blah. I was just guessing. So this one is from Uma Beauty by Sharon C. This one is what you can buy at Walmart. And I was so excited to buy this from Walmart because the regular Uma Beauty was like forty dollars and I couldn't afford it. And I so I was like, you can get this one for fifteen dollars from Walmart. So I went and I got it, and it is very very full coverage and very powdery looking on the skin it just doesn't I don't like how it looks on my skin it like I'm wearing a pound of makeup when I'm not wearing a pound of makeup so I just it says it's flawless IRL skin perfecting foundation I disagree I'm getting rid of it Huda Beauty I have two of these and that one of them this is the shade that doesn't match me like I got two because I think it was like buy one, get one free. Cause they always at Huda Beauty will have a really good sale at some part of the year. And I was like, okay, one shade will be for, this is 200 B. So I was like, one shade will be good for summer. One shade will be good for winter. Well, I think the one I got for winter was actually good for summer. <laughs> and so then the summer one was too dark for me all year round. So we're getting rid of that one. Milk makeup. Do you see how that separated? That that does not look good anymore. I got this from I think BoxyCharm or Ipsy, and it's seen better days. It's yeah, it, it's old, so we're getting rid of it. Okay, this one from Mac. I got this one from the cosmetic company store, and look at it. It was such a pretty foundation, but do you see how it's come away from the sides? It's like dried up. So we're getting rid of it because it's dried up. Okay, then we have another Mac foundation, but. This is such a weird one. Part of me thinks I should keep it, but I keep doing that. And then I am like, why am I doing this? This is the Studio Radiance Face and Body. I got this also from the cosmetic company store. And I was saying before that I like a light foundation, a, a you know natural coverage foundation. This is like, yeah, I'm not even wearing anything. 
it blends into my skin so that it doesn't even cover my redness. It doesn't cover, like at least I want to cover the redness from, from my rosacea, my rosacea or my anything. I, it does nothing. It does nothing. It's like putting water on my face. So it's not my jam. Okay. This elf one, wrong color. The color just doesn't, doesn't match me. So getting rid of it. Cool. Okay. We're going to talk about these face palettes right here. Cool. So this one is from Danessa Myricks. This is the Lux Cream Palette. You can get this one on Beautylish. And I actually have on my wish list from Beautylish another one of these because this is beautiful. But it is old. It's very, very old. I've had this for, and they're cream. And I've had this for like four years. Me, and so it, it's time to, and the last time I tried to wear it, it was not, you could tell the formula was off. So it's time to throw it away. So anyways, I should actually be separating these into pile of throwaway versus, you know, giveaway versus sell. I'll just, maybe I'll do that later. Okay, so getting rid of that. Then this one is from Complex Culture. This is, it's just, it's just average. You know, it's something, I got it from Ipsy and it's fine. I just have so many other things that are, are better. So get rid of it. This is from Ice Cream Beauty. It's fine. I just have things that are better. It's a contour slash bronzing palette. The, the pan sizes are small. It just, I have better things than this. So this is from Pure Cosmetics. I actually um, kind of like this one. I, I put this in like my purse so that I had like makeup on the go. For, and then, <laughs> then we started working from home like 100% of the time. And I was no longer like taking my purse out. Like, cause I would have an emergency purse makeup for when I didn't have time to put on my makeup before I went to work, which I know is not important. But anyways, I like to wear makeup. I don't need it. I don't need it. It is like we have a highlighter, a blush, a bronzer, and a finishing powder or a setting powder. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. They're just not, you know, anything to write home about. Okay. This is from Physicians Formula. It's a three pack of bronzers. I just, face palettes are hard for me because I always forget to use them. I use like just single bronzers or single blushes. So keeping these when I'm just, I always forget to use them. So they just sit unused in my collection and I need to get rid of these things and give them to people who will use them. Do you know what I mean? I want people to be able to enjoy these things when they're just sitting in my collection. Smashbox. This is pretty. I just, I got it from the cosmetic company store and I think I thought it was a blush, a bronzer and a highlighter, but it's actually a highlight, two highlighters and a blush. So these two are highlighters and that's a blush. It's fine. Just, you know, I don't, I have other things that I like more. This I got from an Ipsy, I think it's from Alley Oop and it's a fun little contraption here that it slides out like that, but I, I've used it a couple times and I didn't love it. It's all creams and I like a cream bronzer. I like a cream blush, but I do not like a cream highlighter. And the highlighter was kind of um, meh for me. So it's just not something I want to hold on to. Let's go to an easy one. This is sunscreens. I just picked up some new sunscreen for the summer. And I have been trying to go through these sunscreens and being like, okay, Bianca, you know, use your oldest sunscreen first and, you know, then, then your newest sunscreen, you know, will be last. And what keeps happening is that the sunscreen I'm using, my oldest sunscreen is expired. And then the next year, the next one will be expired. And the next year, the next one will be expired. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sure that sunscreen still works if it's expired, but it's going to work less efficiently. So these are all beautiful sunscreens. I like the glow screen. I like this one. I like them. They're just expired. And you know what? I have other sunscreen that is not expired. Oh, this one's a, a sunscreen too. This is from Fenty. And I need to just throw away the expired ones because I want to be used. I have non-expired sunscreen, but I feel bad about using it because I want to be using the ones that. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to tell myself, Bianca, it's okay to throw away expired sunscreen. So there we go. Throwing away expired sunscreen. Here's some eyeliners. This is dried out. This is dried out. And this is dried out. They're all from Sugar Drizzle. And I tried to add like a mixing medium into, I think it was this green one. And it didn't work. So I tried to make them non-dried out. But they still, they're still dried out. 
it didn't, it, it just made it too thin and also patchy having that mixing medium. So these sh Firm Sugar Drizzle were like multi-carm eyeliners and I loved them while they worked, but they're dead. They're eye dried out. So goodbye. Then I guess I went through my eyeliners at one point and was like, these are just extras, ones I don't need. So this is a from, I think I got it from Ipsy. What is this? Oh, I know, I know. I don't like these kind of eyeliners that are like in a pot like this. Ugh, and gross. Look, that's so dried out. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not because it's against a black background. Trust me, it's dried out. <laughs> this one, I have terms of Sephora, dried out. This one is a yellow from LA Girl. I have a yellow eyeliner that is from... I think ColourPop and it lasts in the waterline better than this one. So this one's gone. Then we have this is a black eyeliner and I have a million black eyeliners. So it's like, why do I need another one? So just trying to get rid of some things here. This is an eyeliner as well. This is a pot eyeliner from Unearthly Cosmetics and it is, I kept the lid on and everything. And look at that. Look how, how dried out that is. So most of this is just trash because it, it dried out, which is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, so we have some blush, bronzer, and highlighters. This is from So Rich. I got it from Ice Cream Beauty or Slay Glam Beauty. I don't love it. It's just okay, so let's pass it along. This is from ZC Cosmetics. It didn't even show up on my skin. I like, it's so faint that I couldn't see anything, so meh. This is from Makeup Revolution. It is. I don't know if you can see in here that it is a chunk. It is dried out. I can't, this dried out on me. And I thought that that was crazy. So that is, it's nothing will come out, it's dried out. So trash, this I just got from Ice Cream Beauty also. And it is, it like came dried out. And I found out after I opened it that it is actually supposed to be kind of a thick formula, but I just, it's really hard to work with being that thick. It is so thick, and I added a mixing medium to this one as well to make it not so thick, but it dries down so quickly, and it's so thick. It's from Bo Babe Beauty. It's a, look at how beautiful that is, but it is a pain in the neck to work with because it dries down so quickly, and it's so thick, and I just, no, I'm out. It's out. So then we have these two. This one's from Say. This is, I think I got in a mystery box or or, some, I, or maybe I got it as a sample. It's not my color. It is supposed to be a highlighter, but it is far too dark for me. So we're going to give that to someone whose skin tone it will match. And then this one is from Iconic London. And this is a liquid bronzer. I tried to make this formula work for me and I just never could. I don't, liquid bronze, it, it's, it thins out so much that it seems like it goes away. So then I keep layering it to make it so that it doesn't thin out so much. And then I'm just like, what am I doing? Why am I even making, why am I trying so hard to make this work when I have a million other bronzers? Here's some concealers. These are all gross. These are all needing to be thrown away. These two from Kosas smell terrible. They have turned. This one from, from Elf, you, you can tell that has turned. So throw away. <laughs> Let's get the last makeup products here. We have two lipsticks. I got this from NYX and it ended up just not looking good on me. I got it because it was like, I think it was like half off of these and I have quite a few of these NYX um, Shine Loud and I love this formula. I really do. I love that you put the one side on and then you wait for it to dry and then you put the gloss side on and then it is transfer proof. I love this. But then I put it on and it made me look dead. So you know, it's, it just doesn't work for me. doesn't mean it won't work for anyone else, but I just, I didn't like it. Then we got, I got this from, I think I got this from Ice Cream Beauty and it, I don't even feel like opening this. It doesn't look that great. Like I'm not the biggest fan of stick lipsticks. I like a liquid lipstick and this just looks boring. I don't know. So I'm like, why open this when you can, I could probably put this in a giveaway or I could probably I don't know. Somebody else would like this when I'm just thinking that it's unremarkable and somebody else might think this is remarkable. You know what I mean? Let's put it in somebody who thinks it's remarkable's hands. This from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her wax. Look at what happened to this. It like turned white and like, I don't even feel like I had it that long. So I'm never going to, I think I got this in a kit, but I just don't, I never really liked it. 
I feel like it turned white too soon, so I couldn't even use it all. And it just, I didn't, I felt like it just left chunks in my eyebrows. It's, I don't like it. I don't like it. And it's trash now. This is from Danessa Myricks. It is, it's like the universal blurring balm powder. I don't like this. I think I have the wrong skin type for it. I have very dry skin and I think this is really much better for like oily skin. I got it as a sample and I was excited to get it, but to me it smells like pledge and it just, it gave me a headache because of the smell, but it also just, I didn't like the way it made my skin feel. Let's just get rid of it. Okay, this is from Danessa Myricks also, and I love Danessa Myricks. There's just a couple things from the brand I don't love. This is another thing. Both of these I put in my like worst of beauty of 2023. This, um, I really wanted to like this because these are so pretty. I mean, if you look into this, you're like, ah, so pretty, but they just are so chunky. You put them on your eyes. What are they? They're the, uh, I hate it when it doesn't have the name of it on the product, but anyways, these are like chunks on your eyes. I can't, no matter what you do, or I do, I've tried to wear these a couple of different ways and they just come out looking like chunks and they make, whenever I blink, my eyes feel like I can feel the chunks on my eyes. That's uncomfortable, nobody likes that, so it's gone. Okay, last of the last stuff here and we're done. Isn't that great? It'll be so nice to get rid of this just random weird pile of things. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's a coconut lime breeze mist and I've had it for a really long time and it smells not great anymore. I was smelling it out and it has that like alcohol smell to it for a long time and I think that might be because it's old and then eventually it dried down to be the coconut lime but it took so long to get to that and I was like this is old. This is just old. I need to get rid of it. Okay, this one is from Beauty Stat. It is a uh, Universal C eye protector. This burned. These two burned, actually. <laughs> I have very sensitive skin. So I don't think it would burn everybody. It just burned my skin. So this um, eye protector, every time I used it, my under eyes would burn. And I was like, okay, we're getting rid of this. I, I don't need something that makes my eyes burn. This one, also, this was a needle less line smoothing concentrate from gold fat and empty I believe this is a very expensive like I, I think I got this in an ipsy and it was like cost the whole, like a hundred and some dollars and I was like are you kidding me so I tried to use it and it it just I would say it isn't needleless I feel like it felt like a whole bunch of like mini needles on my face because it made my face hurt so um does will that happen to everyone no it just happened to me this is from Evio Beauty. It's a Pore Perfect Primer. Honestly, I can't even remember. I can't remember why I put this in here because it's been so long that it's been in here. The last time I decluttered my primers, but I know that it's in this bin, so that means I didn't want it. I can't remember, but I'm not gonna use it again because I know I didn't like it or I wouldn't have put it in this bin. I'm sorry. Everything else I kind of knew. I just don't remember that one. This one is from Bath and Body Works. It's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Hand Cream. I am so picky about pumpkin smells. I, I am obsessed with the smell of pumpkin. I really do. I love it, but I'm very picky about pumpkin. It can't, I don't like a pumpkin spice latte. I don't like that latte to it. And, but I also don't like when it's too green of a pumpkin. So this one, the ones from Bath and Body Works are very, like the, the I can't find a lotion that smells like pumpkin spice. There's either pumpkin spice latte, so it has that latte that I don't like, or they have this greenery to it where it smells like an actual like gourd. And I'm like, what? I don't want to smell like a gourd. Pump I want to smell like pumpkin spice. So this is not it for me. Did I get through it? I did. Yay! I'm just going to, let's, let's show you the piles. Okay, so here is the pile again. This is the throwaway pile. These are trash. And that makes me sad. I don't like throwing away hard-earned money. That's what that is. That is throwing away hard-earned money because none of that was given to me. I bought all of that. Love throwing away hard-earned money. Just kidding. It's like, you know, throwing away the vegetables and the fruits that went bad in your fridge and you're like, ugh. Anyways, these ones over here can be given to friends and family or sold. So this pile makes me happier because I will be able to give them to another 
household. They will be able to have another life. Those are trash, unfortunately. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would make me really happy. If you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you are amazing. Have a great day. Bye.